Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. Do you go? I mean, I'm. Yeah. I, no, I think I'm. You? Uh, okay. I, I'm Bisley. No, uh, are you? I think I'm Chip. Oh. Oh yeah. I think. I no, think you got it's it's, it's, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is. Conda Fiction. Conda Fiction. Mm -hmm. Conda Fiction. And I play... Jay, oh my god. Oh, yeah, no, that Jay. was it, that was it. Um, yeah, 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 so, um... For me, what I do here is, uh, I'll... And I'll say, and kind of like how it sort of has been established, it's pro... I'm probably... Four score and seven... Um, I... I and I'm, I might play... I might play Gillian Tidestrider, but I don't know. Are you think are you thinking about playing somebody else today? Like I don't mean I don't is that who I like So I think La was it last time the crew ended up after uh maybe this sea serpent leviathan attack right. ended up you the next it day it is, it's so crazy. confusing <laughs> <laughs> i'm like already like what last time the crew survived the attack of a titan leviathan a sea serpent named dugon planning to save marshall john they headed to a nearby kingdom the largest city they've ever seen whatever they may find here and regardless if they succeed or die let's just roll with it uh -huh. <laughs> Where we last left off, the three of you, Counter, Uno, Dos, Tres, Chip, Jay, mm, and Gillian, two. fought against the monstrous sea serpent, which Gillian remembered to be one of the primordial titans of the undersea. Although you had a few close call calls, Chip being swallowed at one point. Gillian fed Ayo. the Luxpris Pearl to, the, to Dugan, the name of this titan, convincing him to leave this meal in exchange for a much better one. The Albatross took a beating from uh, Dugan's <laughs> constriction, and while Jay spent the night repairing what she could, Chip and Gillian shared a moment below the deck of Captain Lizzie's ship with the sick and the injured. The next day, you all gathered first thing in the morning to discuss, to discuss what your plans for the future should be, agreeing that Marshal John needed to be saved and a prison needed to be broken. You linked up with Captain Lizzie to share the plan, and she, along with Caspian, agreed to help you once uh, they dropped off Rudith with the sick and injured. You made your way to the nearest island, the largest city in the Royal Ocean, Edison Kingdom. Your ship traveled up these large tubes, breaking into the perimeter. Eyes met with the large brass, metal, and stacked city. And so, the journey continues. As you guys step off the ship onto these metal uh, docks that lead into this pentagon, this pentagon-shaped port, which is just called the Pentagon Port. There are there are there are one two three four five different roads uh, that, that that branch off into what seems to be like a a, a mixture of a residential district and uh, but yeah. you do notice that uh, and and just what just basic uh, uh, buildings um, where people seem to be just kind of like moving past and, and walking through right in front of you uh, down through this crowd if you were to cut through this crowd. Uh, you would see that there is a much a slightly bigger road than the more narrow ones that cut through uh, the, uh, the this market. And uh, you see that it leads all the way down to, uh, uh, in the distance, this very tall, almost uh, uh, that cylinder structure that seems to kind of uh, uh, rise all the way to the top. It's uh, the thickest and the largest uh, of these tall buildings. The shaft. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Um, I'm looking at the shaft. I will. I will most likely um, after after we've done our little shenanigans over over there. Uh, You'd also notice that uh, trying to get somebody's uh, or people's attention, uh, being like pushed around, holding this uh, like rolled up uh, uh, paper, uh, sort of like a it's a newspaper, but uh, oh uh, shit! And they look like more like rolled up uh, pamphlets, uh, and he's just trying to like wave them around. Uh, this small, uh, like a much smaller boy. Just kind of yelling out in the distance. You're not sure exactly what he's saying. Uh, it's more just like extra, and then like he gets pushed around. He's like, ah! guys, and, like, I think that that boy is in trouble. 
No, no, he's just peddling newspapers or, or something. That sounds terrible. Let's go save him. No, Come on, Silver! Want to stop him. <laughs> People are just rushing past him or See, just like even, he's walking past him. He's even offering to pay them to stop hitting him. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's even paying attention to him at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start going over that way to uh, save him. Oh, come along. All right, yeah, you start to cut through the crowd. Uh, you're kind of, people are moving from like right to left and left to right. Uh, there's like a, uh, there's supposed to be a flow of traffic here where people from the port will move through and go forward to the main road, but uh, it's not, it's not happening. It's just a, a very confusing mess of people just kind of going through and just trying to get where they want to go. Uh, and then you eventually get to the boy uh, and you're all standing around him now and he's like holding, he's like kneeled over, not kneeled over, but like hunched over and his hands are on his knees and he's like, <laughs> It's okay, we're here, we're here to save you. <sighs> he like looks up at you. Do they pay you enough for this? One silver! One silver, extra. All the news. You, you don't you don't owe anything, anyone anything anymore here. You're coming with us. Oh the what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I pick him up. What? Uh, wait, 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 Gillian, Gillian, this is hey, 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 this is kidnapping. No, hey, I'm going, I need this. I'm going to save him. I'm going to get him no, out. No, this, this is called kidnapping. You're not no, saving anybody. You're just, get you're, out of the you're way. Committing, you're committing I'm gonna, felonies. I'm gonna, oh god! I'm going like to start moving through the crowd. I'm going to try and get I him would, to a spot where there's not me. People knocking him around. He's in danger. Help! Help! Uh, don't worry. Help. I will. <laughs> Okay, I'm as we're running her. to chase after Gillian, I would like to grab Ollie. Um, to come with yeah. us. Yeah, he's he's falling. He's he's kind of towering above uh, uh, the crowd, most of the crowd, and you. He's just you're, you're dragging him along. Oh, this can't be good. Uh, as he says, as you guys get to outside of the crowd now, back <laughs> near the, the the entrance of the port by the docks and stuff. I place him. And I you place set him, him down. down. <laughs> what the hell go, is wrong go, with you? Don't go running off into trouble this time. <laughs> what do you want, Gillian? Are you trying to rob me? <laughs> good. What? Gillian, Gillian, you're not. I no, haven't made no, any money from this. In... Nobody's buying. No, we're just Gillian. Trying. How could you try and rob this? This I have, I have child? nothing. I have nothing. No, I don't want any. No, stop. I'm not. I'm not robbing you. You were in trouble. I wanted to get you out of there. You were being pushed around. Or the, or the persuasion check. Oh Christ. Okay, here we go. Holy shit! What was it? Uh, twenty-five. Hey. Oh, okay. Yo. You know, on, on second glimpse, you don't. You're strange looking. Okay. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of rude. That's a little bit. No, it's I'm. You mean you it? You're why. not gonna hurt me. You know me? why that is? It's because my name is Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep, serpent rider, All right. brother of Dugon. All right. Paramount brother of who? champion. Who gone? Who gone? Lothamon Gone where? Liberator. That's one I just thought of. Pretty much, this is Gil. That's Jay. I'm Chip. Uh, we're, uh, uh, pirates. Oh. Why would you say that? Well, it just it seems nice. Maybe he wants to be a pirate. You want to be a pirate? No. No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, um, she doesn't want to be a pirate? Most people do not like pirates. Well, Believe it or not. How do you feel about pirates? Listen, I, um, well, if you're pirates and you're not going to... You're not gonna hurt me? I don't understand. No, I'm okay. no, 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 no. We're the good <laughs> kind of pirates. Kind, kind, are we? Are we the good? I don't even know yeah. still Chip. what a pirate is, so. We are, They're, Chip, do we're those like, even exist? Like, really? So we <laughs> pretty much, we're not pirates. But like, we're, <laughs> we're heroes. Well, no, yes. no, we're not those yes, either. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's, we. You want to be one and we are, we are one. All of us individually are heroes. Together, we are one big hero. Yes, yeah, it's, it's well, our destiny. We we yes. we're a crew. We're we a crew of, of uh, friends. Okay, crew. Do you guys want to buy a paper, or no? Um, they're only one silver, and, uh, and they have on, all hey, the news what? that have been uh, uh, written down and, and printed from all over the ocean. All here, collected in Edison oh, yeah, Kingdom. Oh absolutely. Actually, I want to. Yeah, uh, I'll take that. Sure. Okay. Can I have a? It'll be one. <laughs> one silver. Okay. Yeah. I, I flick him the silver. <sighs> he like bites on it. It's fake. It's a chocolate silver coin. What? It is? <laughs> no. no. Oh. <laughs> that was no, his I'm... reaction. It was mine at first, but that was his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you? Uh, right. 
you, you sell these papers? It's Why are you getting pushed around over there? Oh, uh, okay, well, so if you've never been here before, and you're, uh, I'm Isaac, by the way, and if you've never been here to Isaac Asian Kingdom, I sell know. the papers to try and help out at the orphanage. Orphanage? Mm. Down here, in the slums. Right down that uh, road right there, if you take, uh, if you take the left road, uh, not the main road, not chain link straight, but if you take the road right next to it, and you follow down, you'll get to the sector where the, uh, well, they call it sunny side slums, but it isn't, it ain't all that sunny there. And, oh, uh, I yeah, is. I just, I sell the papers and I donate what I get, but nobody seems to be interested down here. Everyone is just kind of in a hurry. Trade, I guess that's how port goes. I just figured that all the people down here would be wanting to know all the news and... Surely if they knew that you were trying to help with the orphanage, they would give you more. Well, well, uh, you think I should, like, scream the donations to the orphanage, or...? Yes. Um... I do. One silver, all... Uh, all proceeds go to the. Nobody fucking cares about the slums. I don't know about. That. What do you mean no one <sighs> cares about the slums? I care about the slums. Well, it's down here for a reason. Well, <sighs> what do you mean down here for a reason? He's saying that the people above are like more high class. This is just kind of the, Please, the traffic area for. For, it's not for time trade for your and capitalism comparisons. That's why when you know if you are if you were pirates or or, or criminals or whatever, you, there's no real policing around here. I mean, you got Jeffrey over there, which he points to the the big Goliath with the handlebar mustache, and then you got uh, Zuloth on that side, and that's really all we have here for security measures. Uh, most of this is just kind of like you come in, you bring your product, you dump it off somewhere, or uh, or you. Or look for a poor abandoned building to stay in on, on that road, and he points down to that the, the, the rightmost side. Uh, yeah, there's not much, uh, but once you uh, you want to try getting up there, that's where uh, money comes into play, and most people down here are, are actually selling, trying to get the money. And uh, if you've got money, I guess you go up there. Well, good news, I don't have money. <laughs> uh. I also don't have money. So you're yeah, telling me, if we get money, so, we can go up there? What are you doing here if you don't have money? Uh, drop off our sick. Uh, that sounds really bad when I say it like that, but we just... Oh. Well, um, if you're trying to drop off sick, you want to take them to the second stage floor, which is where the, you would need money, or they won't be able to stay. So it sounds like we need money. Yeah. I should get back to selling these papers, or at least trying to, but if you have any other questions, now would be the time. Yes, Isaac, how do we make money? That's not He like, starts to, 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 to unroll papers that are like, like kind of hung on his belt. No, well, I, don't I, mean, think we need to sell, I don't think we need to sell any papers or anything. I become uh, a paper boy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you said this orphanage is, is just down, down here, down this road? Yeah, and he, uh, he like starts to point down uh, uh, the road, and uh, as he does that, go to roll sleight of hand, Gillian. Twelve. Okay, as he points down the road, which he's saying, all right, so this leads to the slum. You guys get, uh, all of you get bumped very forcefully as you see another one of these uh, 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 seems to be like a teenage boy just kind of runs past you and, and bumps all, like like literally sends you guys kind of like split apart as he just rushes, bull, bull rushes through uh, your group and uh, Gilliam. Whoa, look yeah, at that You notice guy he's go. carrying your briefcase as he's oh. running away. Down that street in the slums. Hey. Uh, that guy has a briefcase that's just like mine. <laughs> Oh, oh, damn actually, it! Actually, that is mine. Hey, uh, I want to go running me, after. Sir, it seems that I've <laughs> yeah, uh, misplaced yeah, my briefcase in your I wanna, hands. I want to start running after him. I want right. to, um, the boy, can I make an insight check to see if the kid selling the papers has any, like, is in on this in any way, if maybe... That would be really funny because we kidnapped him out here. That's <laughs> I know, I know, I know, um, I know, that, but... That's big you can, brain. You can make an insight check. I just want to see like what his what his intentions might be as far as this goes. Like if he's if he runs with this kid or something. Uh, <laughs> Twelve, not great. Twelve, yeah. He he seems he's like oh oh no. All right. <clears throat> okay, that's uh, all he my, does. My he question is you know, when we're, when you're chasing after someone like this, what stat would this be to try and catch up to someone? I <laughs> would say probably uh, your movement speed versus movement speed. 
technically by like round. What, what like stat though? But if you wanted, it would be probably contested, you know, athletics and acrobatics. Interesting. Like everything okay. else. Okay. All right. Here's what I do as I'm as I'm uh, running after him. <laughs> I say, uh, okay, yeah. I I, I take out uh, one one hand, uh, and I say, uh, what's a fucking funny animal for this? I say, power of porpoise, uh, and I cast, <laughs> I, I cast on myself enhance ability, uh, and I give myself the strength of a porpoise. A dolphin? Is that what a porpoise is? I wait, wait. I might be wrong again. I'm always wrong. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a it's, it's it's literally a dolphin. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I got it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just because I think it's it'll be horrifying. Um, my arms like I I turn like grayish and my arms turn slightly dolphiny. And I just oh start, no! Like, <laughs> like running through the crowd. <laughs> okay. What is um. What is the uh, what does it give you the plus? It gives me advantage on strength checks and my carrying capacity doubles. So strength, but does that uh, go over to athletics oh, as well? Um, I kind of did it because I thought it would. Uh, if it just advantage, I'll say that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I guess um, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say it's fine since it's a strength based check. Yeah. So go ahead and roll athletics. Okay. Um, hey, since with my advantage. carrying can, since my carrying capacity is doubled, can these guys hop on my back? <laughs> Yeah, fuck well, it. I'm on. <laughs> I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to flick a gold I'll coin to oh. to the kid and say, uh, uh, "More where that came from. If you help us get it back." Okay. Sure. Uh, he starts. Uh, uh, thanks, and he like starts running uh, after you guys. He's not as fast. I, um, I got. he's like, what, what the? F <laughs> I got a 15 and an 18, so it's gonna be a 24 total for athletics. So yeah, you're you're. Power going to be able to, you're going to be able to catch up to him as uh, he he looks back to see that you're much closer than he expected. And he's like, "What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding me!" And he's like starting to run, uh, trying to run faster, but you're you're just like your arms are back like a dolphin, as if you're a fucking I am dolphin a plane. With a purpose. <laughs> uh, he's going to try really and the scariest um, thing I've ever done in this campaign. Okay, now he rolled it too. He goes to uh, try and climb one of the sides of the building to try and get up atop of it, but you guys manage, you get to him just as he like goes to grab onto it. Uh, and you're able to grab or whatever you want to do. Hey, buddy, give me back my briefcase. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, that was really easy. I <laughs> accidentally dropped it into your hands. What's in it? I think we just have pants in there. I think it's a lot of you pants. pants. It's just mostly pants honestly, honestly, a lot just of pants. pants. Most of them charred. Can I see? No, get the, the fuck is wrong with you? Sure. Why do you want to see our pants? You can see our pants. It's weird. It's a weird thing to ask people. Do you want any pants? No, he doesn't deserve our pants. <gasps> Wait! And then uh, finally the newspaper boy catches up. Uh, <sighs> oh, it's alright. We got him. I know that guy. You do? Oh. He's from the orphanage. The fuck are you doing here? <sighs> that guy. Yeah, he's one of the. <laughs> and you guys are looking at uh, this kid who's uh, who is handing you back the. Um, or you're taking, pretty much taking. He doesn't hand it back, but you take the briefcase back, and you see yeah, he's got this like, like very tattered up, torn up clothes. Uh, um, just like a, like kind of almost like like a crop top of a, a tank top here because it's just torn off the bottom of it is, uh, and he's got some of that that fabric torn off from the shirt wrapped around his ankles and the shoes are made of cloth and there there's holes in them that expose the toes. Uh, he's roughed up. He's got very short uh, black hair, and um, yeah, he just looks like a like a teenager, like a, a bit younger than you guys. Maybe now as old as Ollie. All right, sorry, I'll just. Find someone else. No, hang on. Just don't hurt me. You stay in the orphanage? Like glares over at uh, the paper boy. Yeah. Well, what are you doing taking from people around here? I do it every day. It's always something new. You don't get much at the orphanage. Kids there don't see much. So I spring stuff back. Well, uh, paper boy over here tells me that there's a a much better part of town, why don't you just take from there? 
You know, the ones who don't need it. Gotta have money to get up there. How much? Per person. Uh, yeah. Five gold. Something. Maybe less, give or take. Oh, that's a lot of money. Chip, it's also a much richer area from the sounds of it, so there's gonna be more security. Yeah, it makes sense. He, like, starts to get up Can't and dust off. Kid. Just leave me alone, all right? I never saw you. You never saw me. And uh, he, like, eyes the, the yeah. dolphin arms. <laughs> never saw you. You'll remember it. You see, he's, like, just behind, or, or Jay, with your uh, passive perception, you know, you notice that he's, like, clutching this very small uh, knife that's just kind of, like, behind his leg at the moment. Uh, he's concealing it, but he he's trying to hide that he had it so that he doesn't get... Um, he's not trying to show that it's there, yeah. But he had. Yeah, I I keep my mouth shut about that. I don't say anything. You know, honestly, I can't blame him. Yeah, he's just so trying to run off now. If you guys let him go. Yeah, I let him go. Yeah, as long so... as we have our briefcase. Woo! Yeah, you've got the you got it. It's cool. So uh, I, I helped you out. You until I said more where that came from. Uh, <laughs> I just sorry. I don't. I, I did try. I, I'm not as fast or anything. It is going to the orphanage, so. I want to, I want to like, I want to like bend All down. Proceeds. I want to look him in the, look him in the face. What exactly are you gonna spend this on? Don't charity to, to the orphanage. Is that actually what you're gonna that, spend that, that's, on? That's that's what I said. You look like he's telling insight me Insight check. I already <laughs> insight checked him. I already checked it. I already. I, that was. Well, like you a, were checking for something specific. You were checking something oh, okay, different. Okay. Okay. You weren't checking yeah. if he was lying. You were checking if he was working with. All right. Uh, it's the same exact role. It's a oh. twelve. What did you get, Jay? I got 10. <laughs> so we're uh, not doing great. <laughs> okay, I mean, 12 is uh, enough to say. See, he's like sweating about it, but he just looks nervous. You don't know if he's lying, lying, but there's like, he's discomforting by your the interrogation now. So about the. Uh, yeah, yeah, take it. I'll give him another gold piece. Oh, this is a haul! All right! What, um. Hmm. What exactly is up there? Do you know? Do you, have you even... My my mother used to work up there. Uh, she would be gone for like weeks at a time. I know it's, uh, it's probably a fun place for you pirates. Or whatever. More or less. Lots of stuff to do. Then the upper level is where the... The, uh... You know? The rich people are. The court. Sort of like the castle building and the upper class residential area. Here is the not so. Right in the middle, that's the, uh, that's the, or they call it the Blossom District. That's, that's where you come to, you know, if you're a tourist or whatever, Edison Kingdom. I assume you're tourists because you're not here to sell shit, so. No, maybe not here to sell shit, but, uh, Jay, we got a day to kill. Yeah, that we do. Hey, Ollie. You ever stolen from rich people? I, I've oh. never stolen at all, actually. I... <laughs> well, that's good, Oliver. Stealing is very bad. And we shouldn't do it. Unless... You want to steal from well, I rich mean, people? Look, these kids are running around and they have to steal from people coming into the port. People who work hard, you know? And they deserve to have food. They deserve to have freedom! And freedom is bought. Jay, what's he doing right now? I, I don't know. I have no clue. Freedom I think is earned! Can, freedom you have to fight for! Right, paper boy? Speech. Um, I don't if know. you're conspir conspiring a crime against I the I would never capital, do that! I shouldn't be here. I don't hear anything. Actually... I hold up another gold coin. You don't hear anything? I hold up a, a, a second one. Ting, ting, ting. You don't hear this? Ting, 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 ting. You don't hear the you know, sounds you're, you're of, kind ding, of an ding, ass. Ding, ding. <laughs> freedom. I give him both of the coins. <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll, I'll, ins I'll inspect them, uh, and I'll, I've been looking at this while you're talking about crime. Jay, I will put my hands on your like shoulders. This sounds like a plan to me. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you? I'm holding her by the shoulders, and I'm just looking her in the eyes. 
Beautiful. I literally just That's... told you five minutes ago That's... that it's gonna be way Let's more. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gil, what? Gil, you're always talking about how you want to help yeah. people and how you might you have to you have to save them. Well, these kids Capital at the orphanage you, need please. saving. They need heroes to free them from the shackles of poverty. Well, that they is need, me. They now need. They need the pirates. Maybe there's a way to. There is a way to do this without stealing. Well, Gil, wouldn't you say that those people sitting up there on all that money, letting this happen, are evil? Listen, we don't need to steal. I don't know. Steal. I have to get within sixty feet to find out. Well, <laughs> we don't that's need to exactly steal. We can just what we scam going, them, and I bop them on the nose to do. My little fucking rubber porpoise nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, yeah. I'm like this for the next hour. <laughs> and uh, I, I just like, oh, I want to wiggle the nose a little bit. Awesome. Uh, oh, or my sonar is. You're confusing my sonar. <laughs> I say. Well, in that case, let's let's climb the ladder. Let's see if there let's truly is something climb evil at the top. The ladder, Ollie. You're in, right? Come on. Uh, I'm not very useful. I don't know how to. What do you mean you're not useful? What if, a, what if a fight breaks out? I don't know what to do. You can be a spotter. You can spot stuff. I know you can spot stuff real good. I've seen you look before. He looks down and blushes. Well, not as good as Miss J can, but... You've been cooped up on that ship for weeks. It's time to live! It's time to seize the means of production, Ollie. Yes! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, I mean... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tag along. I, I, I should see what... No, you won't what, tag along. You'll take part. This is your adventure. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Roll yeah. a persuasion check. Okay. Oh, my God. Ah, 11. Yeah. Okay. My adventure. All right. Um. Down with the government. Well, yes. well yeah. Wait. Hey. Hang Ollie? on. No. 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 <laughs> that's but how, close. That's, that's, no, but close. It's there for a reason. Like, Unless like, the government's evil and yeah. then down with well, the government. Well, so, like, maybe, like, like, well, if you want reform in the down? slums here and you want them to be able to have more money, then they have to take the people out at the top. No, 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 no. Maybe just like people at the top go like middle and the people at the bottom Isaac, go middle. Everyone Isaac, who middle. runs it all? Who's the one that runs this whole place? No, guys. No, no, no. Yeah, Getting out of hand. Yeah. That would uh, that would be King Edison. Oh, it's oh, a God. monarchy, oh, is God. it? No. Well, you see how these play out, you fucking humans and your monarchy. I believe we may have taken a couple of steps. Well, they it's a kingdom. He named the kingdom after himself. Oh, <laughs> what if we don't kill King Edison? But we just take a lot of his stuff. Hey, so listen, and bring I've, been, it I've been reading a lot of books, evil. and I read something about a guillotine. <laughs> Super cool mechanism. Uh, yeah, we've had we've had a few uh, revolutions believe... in the undersea. Why does Sometimes this always happen? They go well. All right, this sounds like a plan. Let's get to the top, see if uh, <laughs> see if it's evil, and if it is, let's dismantle the government. Well, <laughs> listen, it's always good to know the people that you're helping. Maybe we should go see this orphanage, gather some helpers with little tiny heads. You want to employ? We're not going to employ children. <laughs> to no one this. said employ children to rob people. Come Am on, I'm guys! You're putting words in my mouth. Against the king. Shit! Listen. I want to put my hand over his mouth. No, no, no! I would never betray the blood of the king. Another gold. Chip and Chip, you're being really unreasonable right now. What do you mean, Jay? Why are you trying to get the kids involved? Leave I'm here, not adult. trying to get the kids involved. You just, just said you wanted them. You literally kids made notice maybe about their teenagers. tiny hands. I'm walking. For I'm gonna start walking bees. to the train station to get up the layer and climb to the king. Gil, where are you going? Oh god! He Justice. starts to walk away. He's kill oh, the king. Are you guys? You guys are going as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll fall behind. I'll uh, I'll go take this this uh this this don these donations to the I uh, to the orphanage. Enjoy your paper. And uh, good luck with the king. You don't know who I am, all right? Bye. <laughs> Start to yes, run we towards do, down, Isaac. down the road. I won't forget you. <laughs> I'll never I'm forget you, Isaac. 
And uh, you guys head down back into the uh, the Pentagon port, and uh, you get to uh, you, the. It's the main road. It's called Chain Link Street. Right. It's uh, right down the center. It goes all the way down to that that cylindrical uh, uh, tower, almost that seems to, to take people up to the second stage floor of uh, of this of the city. And uh, <laughs> once you get there, you notice that there's like almost like a vending machine. Uh, there's slots that like open up um, open up a door. As we're walking, so, I want to just be like hyping up, hyping up Ollie, like rubbing his shoulders, like, yeah, it's your first adventure. You ready? Yeah. You pumped? Yeah. Well, for my first adventure, we're going to kill the king. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> no, we're going to take stuff from the king and give it to the orphanage. Hey, Jay, you're usually a better representative on what uh, uh, humans do. Is, I mean, what, like, how are you feeling about this one? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> what would your suggestion be here? Probably, you know, not... I look at Jay with puppy dog eyes. Look at Jay with porpoise eyes. Thank <laughs> 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 What are you sideways uh. like a porpoise? <laughs> uh. Sideways! Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I have full... Listen, I mean, I, I get it. I guess, like... Degree vision. <laughs> Let me roll persuasion. Chip's Let me roll persuasion. heart is in the right place. <laughs> you can't persuade your fellow I characters. I just want to roll it. No, you don't. You don't do that. I just want to roll it. I just want to roll it. Just okay. It, the, the roll means nothing, but it's a nineteen. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> but also, trying to rob a king in one day without scoping out or anything. I'm looking really I'm just really close to your face. Well, maybe he's not evil, and, we, and we don't get, have get to. But me. if he's evil, we've got—I mean, we've got to take him down. I'm not even breathing on you. I will find the root of corruption. I, <laughs> does anyone have five gold? <laughs> no, actually. Uh, I, I Chip, do. how much gold do you have? Okay, yeah. Nine hundred. So go ahead and oh my god, yeah, Mr. Greedy Man over uh -huh. here. All right, so yeah, go ahead and mark off. Uh, I would say about fifteen gold from all the gold he gave to. Uh, um, I, I've been marking it off specifically. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yep. So five more gold. You guys enter this uh, this tube, and Ooh. it actually opens up to a much larger interior, as it looks like uh, uh, like a, a subway station inside of here. And there's a, there's an opening uh, from from where from where like these little train cars come in and where they exit. And one, as soon as you guys walk in, one comes in immediately, and it goes. And it's just like uh, this this vehicle uh, running off gears and, and wheels uh, that is very strange to you guys. <laughs> oh. And uh, as soon as it comes in, you guys hear over like the like uh, like just voiceless, just over uh, some kind of like speaker. It's a little muffled and robotic, and it goes. All right, everybody, step into the train now. We'll be leaving in thirty seconds. Thirty. What? What's he counting? What's going? Ten on? Ten seconds pass, and he says twenty. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh god! Okay, we oh, get on. Okay. So as soon as you guys you guys step on and there's like little handles from the ceiling that you guys yeah, can hold on to and draw my sword and shield and uh, stuff inside. And then as soon as uh, <laughs> as soon as you like grab something or not, it goes and it shoots off and it starts to ride up almost like a roller coaster on this uh, train track that spirals up on this uh, uh, around this this uh, this this uh, uh, rod <laughs> this rod structure uh, uh, the 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 shaft as Gillian calls it. Uh, and then it branches off. I call it what it is, bro. Uh, and we go and goes through a few buildings, uh, b continually uh, rising in elevation uh, before eventually stopping in a similar uh, station. Um, and uh, the door is open, and you hear once again, exit, leaving in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the door is open everywhere. You see people, uh, uh, tons What's of, not tons of people, but enough to fill this card uh, specifically, people to start getting off on the other side. Okay, all right, I, 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 I jump out. <laughs> Wait, guys, what's leaving in 30 seconds? The, this thing is, I think. Oh, no! <laughs> guys, critical thinking skills are important, please. You guys get out and you come out to a, a kind of like a, it's just, it's, it's more of these, the walls themselves are made out of the buildings surrounding you. Uh, and from every single building, there's like strands and ropes of these Edison light bulbs hanging from building to building. It's a confusing mesh of these uh, tents and buildings and bright lights and, and neon lights and uh, stairs that ride up to some buildings uh, and and just a, a like a almost like a stone tile ground that goes through this uh, this this um, 
kind of like a, a market. It's pretty much like a market space. And you would yeah. see uh, right as you exit in front of you, this big sign, this big pink sign that says Blossom District that kind of uh, arches over like an archway. Um, and the buildings, again, there's no ends of how high they keep going. And then there's trains that are passing over you uh, and keep continuing to rise and, and going down. And it's just uh, a, a, there's this large crowd of people uh, going into some buildings. Some of the signs say things like, uh, off the chain karaoke, Draco's Diner, and a pharmacy. That's what you see immediately as you guys come in. There's karaoke! Karaoke, <laughs> let's do karaoke, guys. Okay. What? No, this guys, we have character. a job yeah. to do. But karaoke, when was the last time you sang? Like, What's really the sang? These are these establishing uh, establishments all within 60 feet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The the ones that you see immediately are pretty much sixty feet away. I use divine sense, which is the most evil. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Make it karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fucking insane. None of them are supposed to be evil. Okay, well, um, they don't have to be. I just I I send out a ping. What within sixty feet is evil? What within sixty feet is evil? So, there's not an immediate uh, uh, ping of evil, not from karaoke. Okay. I use my porpoise sonar. Uh, you guys uh, uh, continue to walk around. Are you going to continue to divine sense? This, <laughs> area do, like, is, this area is free of evil. This part. <laughs> okay. Gillian, it's karaoke. It's not <laughs> evil. Jay, you walk what around, the hell is uh, karaoke? It's when you sing. <laughs> there's like, narrow... It, the, the, the roads... You come into this open space and, and you immediately see a few things like uh, attractions and there's roads that lead down uh, past others and you pass uh, a dreams casino and theater, which uh, if you if you divine sense, there's evil in there. Um, and then you would pass uh, Draco's diner, uh, the pharmacy. Like I said, there's a boutique uh, just called Bulbous Boutique. Is the boutique evil? <laughs> there's no evilness in the boutique. It's always uh, the casinos, bro. There's a mistress Gambling, massage, Gambling's bad. which doesn't have evil in it. Then you pass <laughs> by an inn called the Lover's Quarrel, uh -huh. and there's some evil in it. Oh! And then you pass by, uh, uh, you don't actually pass by, actually, go ahead and roll an investigation check, uh, uh, Jay. Nope. Or sorry, perception. Wild, wild and crazy. Oh, that rolled over from a seven to 17, 21. 21 is more than enough you would uh, you guys would pass by a little uh, darker alley skinnier kind of behind one of the buildings that you have to walk through in order to get there um, and you would peek your head in and you would notice that there is like a a, a weapon shop called squitting Smith um, which is down all the way in the corner kind of tucked away uh, you would miss it if you weren't you uh, then you guys walk by a gym and then Edison Postal Service is the gym evil, or the post evil, office evil. evil? So evil. What's evil? evil. Okay. So evil. Any, the anywhere that I so could have bought clothing the boutique. Boutique? I'd like to right. stop there quickly. I'll uh, I'll put them in. Okay. We don't have to role play it or anything like that. I just want to buy a uh, a bandana, a red bandana, to tie around my head. Ooh. And I want to buy another one for Ollie. Uh, you walk in. You meet the uh, the owner. We don't have to role play. I'll just expedite. You walk mm -hmm. in. You meet the owner. Uh, you learn her name is be Mish Mistress Nicolette. Uh, she's a, a very fine, suave uh, woman who seems to be very passionate about clothing. She takes immediate liking to your figure uh, and says you need work on your hair. And then she does your measurements in almost uh, five seconds flat without you even needing uh, to ask for what you wanted. Uh, and then she writes Whoa. it down and then you say you want a headband and she uh, gives you a disappointing look, uh, kind of tilts her head <laughs> and, and like sticks her lip out. And then she uh, goes to the back, comes out with these two silk red headbands and you're free to buy them. It's going to be about... 15 gold. Okay. Total. Yep. I'll buy them. Anything that you guys uh, uh, want to yeah, do? Yeah, I just need to know if the gym and the post office are evil. The post office is evil. What? Yeah. Oh my god! That's what happens when you order anything guys, through the post office. Guys, oh just my god, the post Can we take down the postmaster general? This is so <laughs> fun because like, I asked Grizz what establishments are evil and he has to tell me. <laughs> okay. That is what's happening. Here's the deal. I'm, I'm writing Huddle down up. which one is which which is evil and which is Huddle isn't. up, team. <laughs> Dreams Casino and Theater is evil. Lover's Quarrel has a little evil in the post office. What, what are you what are you talking definitely about? Definitely evil. We need to purge it. No, okay, no, well, we already, no. We already knew that the post office was evil. 
Everyone knows the post knew. office is evil. What? It's no, always the been the post evil. office yeah. is a way that everyone can get their mail. Have you seen the way they treat packages? It's the mo- what do you mean the way they treat packages? Oh, the postal <laughs> service is dastardly. Oh, they're the worst. We go to the post office. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. We don't just. <laughs> fine, fine. We go to the post office. If you're going to entertain my bullshit, I'll entertain yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you walk in. It's the most evil, right? The post office is the most evil? I think it's so the funny most if we evil? Say, like, Oh, no. No, no, no. That's just what they're telling you. Okay, it's that's so fine. funny I'll if I'm it. just saying, like, no, we're not going to go. We're not. And I, like, smash cuts over to <laughs> the, us at the, the post the office. Most, <laughs> the most evil is definitely the, uh, you, the N. You, the N? Yeah. The, the lover's, lover's quarrel? quarrel? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is it because okay. people are cheating in there? Yeah. Is it, There's adultery. Is it okay. There's adultery Listen, guys. taking place. Listen, we've got we've to purge all the evil from this lair. <laughs> okay. We're Do we really? the post, we, we're okay, into the post office, right? Step one. Post office. You walk into the post office. This is a clerk. It's an Arakakra person. Uh, think Animal Crossing. And it's just sitting uh, at the desk. Walk in. There's a glass separating your face and their face and they look tired they look I up they the have glass. the glasses wanna, they take no, the no 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 i want to like pat, i want to tap jay i want to tap jay to like to stand on the other side of get like signal her to do what i'm doing and i stand there with my arms crossed and i and i put on like i furrow my brow and i want to stand on either side of gil and i want to position ollie right behind him and like move his eyebrows down so that he looks angry this is a Ooh, mandatory to- inspection for evil. <laughs> welcome to the personal service. I'll cut what right to the chase. You'll be dropping off or picking up. Oh, we're going to be picking up and dropping off. Picking up the evil and dropping it off a cliff. <laughs> we're... We're... What evil are you talking Tell me, about? What's your name? It's this okay. Uh, it's this like old woman, like very old. Kind of feathers are falling off, scraggly. There's like a m- messy silver bun on the top of the uh, the Arakakra's head, and the the beak is scratched up. Uh, Betty. Betty, huh? You may call me Betty. What? <sighs> what do you about need? That. I snap once. I want to send out another ping and know exactly what in the post office is evil. I'm using another ping of divine sense. Got to save at least one for the king. When he <laughs> snaps, I, I I think of it as a signal. I look over to Jay. I walk over to the wall. I grab up like a a picture off of it. I look over at Betty. I drop it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of like eyeballs over. When you do cast divine sense, you get a big ping of evil coming directly from Betty. No! What seems to be the problem? Betty, what is it you really do here? I'm not sure I follow what you're talking about. But I think you do. Are you gonna clean that up? No. Why don't you clean up your act first, Betty? (laughs) Oh, snap. (laughs) <laughs> All right, roll out. What do you want to roll here? Persuasion or intimidation? Um, I want to roll persuasion. I think I just want to. Yeah, yeah. How's this not intimidation? Actually, you're 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 so right. This would definitely. Would be I, I just I don't understand how it could be yeah, not. It's that. only yeah. It's only a six though. Let me well. Let me come on. Let me let me help out because I oh, smashed yeah, it's things. Got, right, it's got to be surely advantage. Surely a surely a help action from Chibo. Surely. I guess if you're if you're sma- Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Do you say okay. anything, Chip? Oh, I just no. I just make like very strong okay. eye contact. We're we're creating a presence, and I smashed a picture. Second roll was a fifteen plus four is a nineteen on intimidation. Her brow furrows, and she starts to like look down. Who sent you? God. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. That was over so That's not true. That's not true. I don't think God sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? All the ones that matter. That's a loaded response. I'm sure I have some enemies with the many gods. Now, what the hell have you done, old lady? <laughs> what do you want from me? Confess, Betty, and then we decide your sentence. And also, maybe some money. What does it mean to embellish a package? 
guys. Oh, it just, it just, it just, it just makes it nice. It just yeah, makes them, it just making detail. it look. Like, that's a really Embellish. kind thing to do, actually. Oh, wow, it's, it's, like it's a, positive. It's a positive thing. Oh, yeah. that's very good of you, What's baby, the negative but I'm talking version about the of evil stuff. Deal it. Just say, just say she's Tamper? committing fraud. Tamper. No, 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 no. Don't tell me what to do. Tools? I know what okay. she's doing. You okay. don't know what she's doing. All right, doing. all right. I don't know what she's doing. I want to know, and I think we're going to throw her off a cliff. <laughs> she is evil. We did say we throw evil off a cliff. Uh, what is Ollie's fish. reaction to all of this? I want to know what, like, what he's thinking as he's standing there watching us harass this old woman. He's kind of like, uh, at the moment, since uh, there was no uh, instruction, he's peeking from the doorway. Oh. Kind of like looking at <laughs> like this. You got me. What are you gonna do? Tell the king that I take the package and I take what's in on and I keep on for myself. And what would he do if I did? Ah, I might lose my job. I might get put in jail. I might have to return everything I've stolen. That's right. I've replaced the worst of it all. I've replaced what's in there. With what? With my Betty? very own yeah, excretions. Very own <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Betty, you shit in people's packages? <laughs> that is hardcore. And if you had dropped something off, I'd be dropping something off in your package too. Here's what's going to happen, Betty. If that's really what you're called. You're gonna put everything back, and not just that, you're gonna leave a gift, Betty. That's right. You're gonna learn the value of community, Betty. <laughs> and you're gonna make sure everyone you give your packages to knows you by name. That's right. You're gonna go around, and you're gonna build a rapport with everyone, and you're gonna be that nice, nice post office lady. And Betty and I get real close. If you aren't Betty, well then you'll have to take it up with the gods themselves. Are here challenging me? That's right, <laughs> Betty. I put a hand on my sword. I no, I, am. Hey, 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 no. kill the old lady. Listen, all she did was steal the packages and packages. shit in them. That's not even she shitting them, Jay! <laughs> She's shitting people's Gil. packages! Gil. Killing a woman? Arguably worse. <laughs> At least I wouldn't shit in her afterwards. Okay, 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 okay right? I mean, but fair. maybe, maybe she could just help us. Betty, I challenge you! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, change your <laughs> ways! Or face mine! Fuck. You seem like a dirt brunch. Hey, listen, Chip. I just wanted to. I don't want to have to pull out the old cat on oh, you. Okay. <laughs> All right, got a little you out of hand. But so maybe I'll you, you do what you say. Cleansing evil. Yeah, I'll I do what you say. Said it like that. My bad. Yeah. I'll do what you say. Betty, I just want you to know, if you ever, ever. Shit in another package ever again. I will smell it and I will know. And like a shark sniffing out blood, I will find the source and I will. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the intimidation check rolling over, she just nods her head and glares at all of you. Throw away, you'll be picking up. Or dropping off. <laughs> uh, if I if I may, uh, just quickly, Betty, how um, how exactly do you transport packages? The dolphins, boy. Okay, but how do they get to the dolphins from here? Do they go down? They go down to the port. Like a trash chute. Trash chute. Where is this trash chute? Right behind me. This is the most mm. cracked episode we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I know what you're well, planning, and this is gonna be great. Betty, we might have a couple of uh, packages to drop off, and not. Please don't shit in them. For you to, to maybe go down through that chute later, I think it would, you know, probably make up for the evil if you were to, just let them slide through. Persuasion check. Sure. 
I'll give him advantage in, as well, and I'll say, unless, of course, you want the king and the gods to okay. know. Right. Yeah, sure, advantage. First, okay, first roll was a 26, but let's let's rock it anyway. All right, second roll was a 20. Dirty, stinky 20. Stinky yeah, 20. yeah, 26 so, more than enough. Ashapur, I could look the other way. Okay. Good to know. You've got a you've got a bright future ahead of you, Betty. Should you choose not to waste it. Take my hand <laughs> off my sword. So you're not dropping anything off. No, not yet. No, we'll come, we'll come I'm back not. And then I it. leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Just uh, anything you wanna do you wanna do, Jay? One I, down. No, I feel awful. We just threatened an old lady. I mean, like okay, I know she's just shitting in. She was shitting in packages. <laughs> no, but this is good. Now anything we take, we can just have that paper boy go down there and get it. Okay. All right, team. We've got the casino, <laughs> and the we've evil. got the and we've got the inn. Jay, why don't you take your pick? I'm feeling the inn. Wait, 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 Jay. Casino. Yeah, that's why we save it for last. Oh, okay. Hey, Jay. What kind of, what kind of what nasty, dirty deeds could be happening at the Lover's Quarrel? Yeah, why don't, why don't you take the lead on... Why don't you take the lead on this one? I want to see how you you purge evil. <clears throat> yeah, Jay, how about you take the lead on purging this evil? <laughs> so all three of you walk back <laughs> to the building you passed earlier. The bright yes. pink uh, neon lit... Uh, building with with extremely large uh, or not yeah, yeah just tall glass windows uh, with uh, two dancers in either side of uh, on the left and right of the entrance and one and the sh the the door itself is also glass but shaped like a heart uh, like colored like part of the glass is tinted to look like a heart you open uh -huh. it up uh, and all three of you walk in um, uh huh. And it's just this, this a singular hallway with a wooden door right in the back. Uh, and, and right in front of the door is this tiny little desk. And this person just kind of standing uh, in front of it seems to be this uh, uh, tall uh, gentleman with with silver, uh, slicked back hair. And then a I walk up to the desk and slam here. my hands on it. This episode was sponsored by Honey, the free shopping tool that scours the Internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds right to your cart. We all shop online, and we all also get taunted by that promo code at checkout, but no longer. Honey's got you covered, and it supports over 30,000 stores online. Tech, gaming, fashion, food, they've got it all. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you've got to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait just a couple seconds as Honey searches for some coupons it can find for that site, and blam a roomie! As soon as it finds one, you will see those prices drop. Now, you may or may not know this, but I am a little bit of a dice addict. I like the funny color clinky math rocks a little too much, and when I go online to buy a new set, Honey's always got me covered. Honey has saved all its members over two billion dollars total in coupon savings. So, if you want to support the show and get killer savings for free, go download Honey. It installs in just a couple seconds. I use it all the time, because there's no reason not to. Get it for free at joinhoney.com slash jrwy. That's joinhoney.com slash jrwy. Slime you later. <laughs> Listen, Bob, I know your fucking secret, okay? <laughs> I just walk right back out the door. I, I, don't, I don't know I don't, her. I, don't, I don't let him. I don't let him. I cross my arms and lean on the door so no one can get in. You got some shady shit I, around here. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out. I look at no, Ollie out of the door. I go. Out. <laughs> this is fucking Where is awesome. It? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, he's Italian. He's so fucking evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the French, man. Come on. Okay. Oh, the good of you are going to get the wait, room. Wait, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I, I absolutely know what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be the three of you to get the room? No, no. We're not getting a room. You know, it is getting a room evil because I don't want to see it. That makes sense. It does make sense. You tell people to get a room when you don't want to see shit. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, it we, makes sense. You we explain, we explain like in the room while the <laughs> guy sense. is there. <laughs> makes sense. There, there, there is no evil here. I have a question for Jay. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it an out loud question? That's what I want to know. No, we, no. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, just question to Connie more specifically. What do you believe to yeah. be the most charismatic sea creature? Shrimps. Scrumps. <laughs> Not Scrumpies. shrimps. Scrumpies. No. Like Give me an answer. Scrumpies. Give me an answer. Give me an answer. Can we do... <laughs> <laughs> Make it crap so I can click my claws. Okay. I look over at Jay oh, and God. I cast Enhance Ability. Once more, I walk up to her. I put my hand on her shoulder and I say, Cunning of the crap. And you see as uh, Jay grows like two little stalks out of her head, like red stalks, and her hands just become like fucking cr- like lobster claws. Uh, look you again. have. You have advantage on charisma checks. What have you done to me? <laughs> oh, mamma mia! Okay, and he starts like looking around the the, the desk, I know, I know, and he starts like 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 trying to press these buttons. It, it seems that the, uh, the, all of you have won the new uh, getaway uh, package, first pl- photo package, and he like hits a button, uh, and the ringing starts to happen, and then the door swings open, and you see these three. Uh, one of the races is like this bunny race, uh, and then the other no. is a another tabaxi, and then there's a, a half elf that stands taller. And they're wearing like these like flamingo. Go, uh, feathered uh, scarfs and and like uh, leotards and they're holding a picture and they're trying to get you all together to put you against the wall and get a picture for all three of you together. They're trying to like dress you up now. Quick, uh, if you want to resist, no, crap, no way. Use your wait, crap you like cutting. A, you can't. You can't take a picture of me like this. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> get to the line, get to the line, kiss, hug, whatever you want to do, please, stop no, the house, it's free! I'm just like Jay. smiling really big, but Jay, like terrified. Jay, use, your, use, your, use, your, use your charisma to find the weed out the evil. I don't know what the evil is. Is guys, it this guy? Guys, say cheese! <laughs> they push you guys all together, <laughs> and then you hear a big flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm in the photo, I'm like running at the camera. <laughs> like, like motion blurred. <laughs> I was about to do the same thing. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I'm running at the camera. I need that picture. <laughs> no, for real, for real though, you have you have advantage on charisma if you try and figure out. I it. literally have no idea how to find evil in a room. Okay. <laughs> hey man, lo- show I, me I, the evil, big yeah, Italian I, I, I boy. Look, I look around. Uh, I look around at these people, <laughs> and I'm gonna try and I want to try and I want to try and read why. the room a little bit. I'm gonna try and read this room. And Show me the evil big Italian boy. <laughs> I mean, what are you? What are you trying to read? <laughs> right, that's awful. <laughs> the the Can you use an insight check to see if anyone's like trying to like get something out of out of us, or you know what I mean? Sure, you can do an insight check. I got a ten. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems like when you turn the woman into a crab, a half crab, it scared the shit out of. Uh, 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 the 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 clerk, Words. and at the moment they are just trying to. Uh, they got this picture, and it prints it out almost immediately out of this like large contraption uh, with like this big funnel that did the flash. Uh, and yeah. they printed out, and they gave it to all three of you, and they're trying to usher you out the door at this point, unless you want I to say something else. I them all up. I sniff them all up <laughs> <laughs> into tiny little yet. pieces. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I rush past them. I want to. I want to. I want to grab the clerk. The clerk, okay. Ah, okay. Oh no, I know. We I know. Do it, I we know there's evil here, and you've got two options. I do not know what you're talking about. Option one, you confess, and we root it out of the source. <laughs> option two, and I hold him up a little higher. You end up like my friend here, Crab. The intimidation. Intimidation. See, if I were a crab, I'd have advantage on this. Fifteen. I do not know what you are talking about. This is to cry a little bit. I just run the hotel where you can come and make a sweet, sweet love. Now, that is, is there all that anyone I do. here making sweet, sweet love that's making evil love? I do not know how to judge the customer. I just provide the fine service. We'll see. Please about let that. me go. We'll see about that. I, I, I reach out my hand. <laughs> Snap again. <laughs> I want to send out. Uh, I want to send out a ping here. Where's the evil? Upstairs, right above you. Oh, Jesus, I it's say. multiple pings of evil. Oh, oh shit. God, dude. <laughs> okay, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. you know what's going on. <laughs> I say, I Missing say, kill. I look, I just look up and I say, I see. I <laughs> think I throw him to the side. <laughs> up the stairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, so let's go rob that casino. How about? 
Chip, and just forget <laughs> this one ever happened. Um, <laughs> you, you dash up yeah, the steps. See, what are you I two don't doing? I want to be there when he does what he's about to do. Hey, Jay, you yeah, better fucking help I'm me gone. out, bro. I use my level two spell slot on you, bro. That's your own fault. <laughs> so, uh, I want to walk over to the to the guy running the shop. I want to put a gold coin on his chest. Sorry. <laughs> my business is going to fail. <laughs> Stop him. <laughs> Stop it before he opens, it's too late! Listen, okay. not, not even God can stop him now. Hang on, hang on, I need a... Do I have like a there is no God in this building. God left this building a long ago. And now he's back! Alright, I need a coin. I need to know what the fuck I'm gonna do here. What do you mean? There's clearly a moral right here, and it's to come with me and dropkick these people out of a window. I don't All want... Right. Heads? I try and stop Gillian from uh, interrupting this adultery. Good fucking Tails, luck. I walk away and mind my own <laughs> fucking business. Like any normal person should. If it, if it lands on its side, you have to help me. <laughs> sure. That's not gonna happen. I walk out the fucking door. That's not my goddamn problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, peace. I'm out of here. Dylan, you rush up the steps. What do you, you want to, there's just a, this hallway of, of multiple pink doors in this wide hallway. All right. Uh, one large window at the very end. You just burst in the next one. <clears throat> so, I I got the evil pings. Do I know yeah. which rooms they're in, I assume? Every single room. Oh, God. Every single room? Every single room. I kicked down the first door. Oh, good Lord. Okay, you kick down the first door, uh, and immediately you hear the screams the of, uh, <laughs> of, 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 uh, this just, just normal, like, this gnomish figure that kind of looks like Julian, but, like, like a distant cousin. He looks off-brand Julian. It's uh, so and he, like, jumps up, uh, he was underneath, like, the covers, and, uh, it's just him in this room. So, from, from what you see. Oh. And he jumps what up, he's like, I ah, what the hell, man? What have you done? I have nothing done nothing! Who sent you? You know who sent me. It looks towards the door that's to your right, and it's on. You can hear, like, a shower running. What? Now I ask you one more time. What did you do? Gillian, I don't know how to explain this to you, man. <laughs> Wait. I'm taking the headphones. <laughs> I look at the room. I look at him. Does he have a ring on his finger? Yeah, he does. I grab him. Oh, no, 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 He doesn't. He doesn't just, have a ring. There's a ring on the dresser next to the bed. There's a ring, there's a ring on the dresser. Okay. I <laughs> grab him. And I say, you know where I'm from. This is a crime. <laughs> What's about to happen to me? Something that's been a long time coming. Like <laughs> you. And then I run to the window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Athletics check or strength check, just strength check. <laughs> athletics or just yeah, just roll strength. Okay. Athletics. 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 Um, athletics is going to be a uh, thirteen. <laughs> okay. Twelve. Nice. So he doesn't like escape or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Throw him out the window. <laughs> Okay, as you guys are leaving the building, you just hear on the side. <laughs> Someone shoots through the window of a building. Uh, the building you just exited, and Ollie, Chip, as soon as you exit, you hear. So, uh, what are we doing here? And then you just. Oh, oh God, it's starting. We gotta go. <laughs> What's that? Uh, nothing. We're just walking, uh, minding our business. I'm assuming you do this for every room. Yes. It is mostly the same situation. Uh, some rooms you have to throw three people out. Oh Some no! Rooms, it's just, it's just. <clears throat> okay, I tell you each and every one of them uh, that they need to tell their wives and husbands what they did, or I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Roll a roll an intimidation check. Just one final one. Okay. He threw them at windows. I correct. Know, I know. Yeah. I know. Twenty-one. <laughs> That's... All right. <laughs> Gillian died, Strider, everyone. <laughs> the lover's quarrel in goes out of business. Okay. One in more the next coming this. weeks. <laughs> oh, I get why they call it that now. Dude, you dude, just figured dude, that out? Dude. Are you serious? I, uh, I, I, I step out in front of the window, just like mm -hmm. lit ominously. You just see my mm -hmm. fucking silhouette lit by pink. Uh -huh. And I just, again, 
dust off my hands and just fucking like jump onto the ground, fully absorb the impact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just hear it like very faintly. Oh, I'm going to just retire. And uh, where are you guys headed? I, yeah, the I casino. say, oh, okay. I say, settle down. I um, like these people. I'd like to <laughs> listen around. I, maybe we go into the casino probably. I'd like to listen around for any like tips I might get about a, uh, like maybe a, a bank, a vault, uh, uh, or like where they would keep the money here. Anywhere that I would get a tip on large, large sums of money being held. <laughs> even if it's not in the casino, even if it's the king's money, I just that want such like an odd thing. <laughs> no, that's the kind of that's the kind of vibe we have this episode. I fucking am here for it. So if you are, are trying Some... to eavesdrop, just make a perception check. Okay, yeah, I, I'm really I'm really only looking for any kind of tips to something valuable that we could steal that would make a difference. I should have just kept my fucking strength of porpoise, man. Natural yeah. one. You don't even get into the okay. casino. <laughs> Hey, you're not old enough to be in here. <laughs> you walk up to the gates uh, or to the doors, and there's this one dwarf kind of standing. It's a very nice dwarf. His hair is very neatly braided. It's super long, uh, uh, bright red. He's wearing this really bright red suit, standing in front of this kind of. Uh, uh, it, it's not a huge casino, but it is, you know, golden red and uh, and, and white, and and, and it should be. It's a beautiful entrance, but it's not super big. It just looks like one part of uh, of like a a uh, one of those uh, like Washington State buildings or whatever, like the, the important ones. But it's just yeah. one doorway of it uh and he's like where are you going son what, what, what do you mean i'm going in with my friends i just slide in are you um, part of a union no can't say that i do wow oh. this place really is evil you have unions in the undersea oh yeah everyone's unionized uh better be packed for tonight uh. <laughs> maybe this prophecy isn't all that bad <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what the fuck did this guy just say? <laughs> I did not process through that. We're accent. a bit packed. We're a bit packed for tonight. Unless you got the uh, mm, right. some VIP. We're, we are actually VIPs. Yeah. My friend here is a crab. I'm a crab. I'm just messing with ya. I just like to see what the it people works. say when I put them in that kind of position. <laughs> Always go for the lies. We uh, do. We in. do know Jim, though. Actually, <laughs> uh, friend. Okay. Well, tell him I said hello. Okay. Be careful in there. I snip at him as I walk in. Okay. You know, when I'm trying to convince people of stuff, maybe don't make crab noises. Actually, Jay, uh, with how that with how that spell works, if he's trying to convince people of stuff, make crab noises. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, True. If you want to convince Jay, if you want to win games in here, just saying. If you want to get the information, okay, let me go try to convince the blackjack dealer that I won. Hang on, hang on, lost. hang on. <laughs> we need to look for any large sums of money. Remember the mission. Remember the goal. Ollie, remember the goal. I thought we were just going to assassinate the king. No! I'm not, I'm not usually even old enough to be here. Well, today's your lucky day, bud. We need to find a lot of money or something for to yeah. steal. Around you guys, uh, you see a lot of very similar, it's a very similar interior to what you've seen. Uh, just not as extravagant. However, there is a small, like, uh, screens made out of this like gray metal. It's it's more like an iron and brass kind of interior mm -hmm. in here. There's bits of silver around, but it's uh it, it's a bit more militaristic uh, than it is gold and like lavish. Uh, but it looks really it looks still fun and cool. Uh, there a lot of the same games that you've played before are obviously here, including Plus races. Uh, we can just <clears throat> not do that again because that would take forever, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, you, sorry, oh yeah, on the, like, these little, like, screens that, like, I was yeah. talking about, uh, there is a, 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 a kind of, like, Warforged-looking figure oh. made of, like, completely white. Just completely white. I hope you're having fun, ladies and gentlemen! Holy shit. Remember oh, that the I house is always fair! Well, that, that doesn't sound right. That's... No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I send out another ping. I will say after this, I only have one left, which I gotta save for the king. But mm. in here, where's the evil? 
you get a few pings in this building. All of the dealers have some sort of ping. <clears throat> some more than we need to blow others. This place up. Yeah, we do. Um, and a sort of a figure in this black cloak. It doesn't fit the uh, oh, okay. the 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 other kind of apparel from the other people inside here. Sitting alone and uh, at, a, at a circular table in a booth, just by himself, drinking. They also have uh, a little bit of uh, a ping. What are you reading? Listen Here's what I'm hand. reading. Every every station, every dealer has evil. <gasps> Not just that. That man over there oh, no. in the black cloak, he's also radiating evil, and I worry that he may be planning something sinister. Well, listen, hey, hey. Gil, listen, listen. Yes. I've been reading a lot about how to make bombs out of regular household items. What? So no, stop. The place up. no, no, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Look. Jay, all right. They could it's not deep, do. It's deep in the grain oh of this world. I think we've got to destroy it at the source. Gillian, please, for one minute, just listen to me, okay? They can't do anything evil if we just take all their stuff, okay? We don't need to blow anything up. We don't need to set anything on fire. We don't need to throw anyone out windows. Greed begets evil, Chip. We no, but it's not for us. All. Hey, Chip. Yes. I'm sensing some evil on you, I think. <gasps> What? Really, Chip? Evil. I don't want the money from me, I stupid. Just heard salivating. <laughs> we're gonna give. We're gonna take this money from the evil people, and give it to the Actually, nice people. Okay. Mate, I mean, if that's true, if the evil is coming from the riches, then that could work. But here you go. All right. Who wants to deal with the one in the cloak? Jay, well, you might have the best no, chance with we, your crab power. I don't think oh we should just go around and beat people up and interrogate them. I think we figure out where the money is. Maybe, you know, Crab Jay goes and Jay's asks, gone. figures out some stuff. Why would you leave in the middle of my... In the distance, all you see is, is Jay approaching the man in the, thing, in the fucking cloaked figure. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm gonna look over and it's just like the the outline uh, with like the dots around it of the of like, almost like a, like a crime scene outline of Jay's figure when you like look over to see where Holy she is. Holy shit, that's <laughs> fucking incredible. Just imagine like Doctor Zoidberg when he fucking waddles away, <laughs> kind of like that. All right, you... Chip, let's fan out. I, I'm also gonna go. Okay. okay, where are you going? Um, I got evil from all of the dealers, right? Yep. Does that include the person running the frog to post races? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's where I go first. Um, I, All right. I would like uh, to bring Ollie with me. I'd like to uh, be a, try and be a little stealthier. Um, and I would ask him to like look out for any uh, places that might hold money, like a, like a safe or anything like that. Maybe a back room we could slip into. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got it. Whoa. You see his attention gets immediately caught by this figure uh, serving like these these cocktails over uh, at the different stations. It's this uh, very uh, curvaceous figure in this red dress, sparkling red dress, with a um, hair similar to something you've seen before. Sort of like this hair made of like, a, like the top half of her head is this jellyfish. And as she turns away to go serve another table, you recognize the face no. of the former uh, cocktail waitress at the Blue Royale Casino. Oh my Karina. god. I'm thinking we go over the- uh, Ollie, Ollie! Hey! Oh, oh, wake up! Do you see that? Morning! Yes, I saw that! I've never seen such- Well, I've seen only once before. Such beauty. Okay, I get it. You're getting a little older now. Hormones <laughs> going a little wild, right? Focus. No boys. All right. Okay. <laughs> Gillian, you are- uh, at the frog races? What's the oh, plan? Oh, booty, no boobies. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh god. I'm gonna enter Pretzel, and I'm gonna- and I'm gonna get Pretzel and me keyed in on exactly, like, what's being rigged here. Like, I wanna figure out where- where it's coming from, so I okay. can expose them. Go ahead and make... I would say... Investigation. Okay. To make this deduction. Can I use Pretzels? Yes. Oh, I rolled high. Uh, 19. Pretzel uh, notices that the uh, referee, the one who like oversees this game, is 
uh, every now and then, as you guys watch a few races go, uh, whenever someone other, or like whenever a Frogtopus other than uh, number nine is going to win, number nine just seems to get some sort of boost, and it appears to be like a magical boost at the end of the at the end of the race. So number nine is always winning. It's this yellow Frogtopus with a white number nine on their uh, painted on their <sighs> back, wow. happens like this like racing stripe. Uh, headband tied around there, <laughs> right around under their eyes. Well, very interesting this race is. I can't help but notice number nine's doing quite well. That's the house favorite. Yeah. Is it Tell your favorite oh, you want to enter? Well? Hmm? Oh, I want to enter something into something else. <laughs> no, that didn't, I, I didn't come out like I wanted. Um, I think you're looking for the lover's quarrel, friend. No, no, not anymore. Place is out of business. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, why don't you tell me why number nine is particularly magical at the end? There's a pause as this person looks at you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, but I think you do. And I think everyone that had entered would as well. So I'll give you two options. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and I'll ask you a question. The question is, are you the one doing it? Or does this come from higher up? Make a, uh, this sounds more like persuasion than intimate. Oh, it actually kind of, I don't know. I would just say persuasion. Okay. Yeah, I got a natural one. <laughs> oh god. If you want to be in the race, you have to place a bet. Alright? And if you win, maybe I'll help you out. With your... Tell you what, no money. If Pretzel here wins, you've got to walk away from this and help me expose this whole operation. If you win, you can take all the money I've got. Oh god, that's hilarious. He's broke. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I'll get back to you. <laughs> uh, Jay, you sit down. What do you do? What are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Did you say what are you hiding? Or <laughs> no, no, no. One second. Here's this is the exact. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. This is the exact order of events as it happened. So okay. So here's how it goes. I walk away, I sit down, I look at him. What are you hiding? You see poking out from uh, the shadow of this cloak kind of on the hood. Uh, you just see like a, a, a jaw jutted out. This uh, kind of pale bluish jaw with uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, tusks coming out of the bottom row of teeth. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now at this point, everybody would notice it was gone and look over at me as I was like... <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Interesting pair of hands you've got there. <laughs> I was told they would help. I've got some mighty pinchers. This is awesome. I fucking persuasion check. <laughs> and you get advantage. Is that persuasion or can it be an intimidation? Uh, this is, is not intimidating. <laughs> no, 16. All right. All right, <laughs> I'll bite. Not that I'm a Don't fan of crab. Don't do that. I... Pulls out from underneath his, this cloak. And he slides over three pieces of paper. You've seen these folks before. You look Who's down, you see paper? three wanted posters. Oh my god. One having each of your faces on. Oh my god, you're a crab and he doesn't <laughs> fucking know who you are. Holy shit. Never seen them in my life. Who are they? I'm a crab. <laughs> Looks like their bounty's about to go up. I'm trying to catch them before they do. And I got a feeling they're headed to this city. I've got ever catch a pirate feeling. before. Crab lady. Yeah, I have. With my own two claws. <laughs> if you're trying to help, I don't mind splitting the reward. I think I know exactly where these people are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so you stick with me, 
and we split it 60 40. 60 for me, 40 for you. What do you mean you know where they're gonna be? I have crab vision. <laughs> <laughs> Crab vision? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd never seen them before. No, <laughs> now that I've seen their faces on a bounty poster, I can, I can, it's like, it's like magic. I mean, that makes sense. You take him, you take me to him right now. Yeah. With your sure. crab intuition. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'll agree to that split. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do now that I've made it this far. <laughs> Lead the way, Grammy. I get the feeling they're up above, near the king. Near the king? <laughs> yeah. Dude, Chip, if we what can are you help. Doing? Wait, we'll what if we here. got this guy to get us to, to smuggle us in looking for us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, I'm just, I'm pretty much just looking around, uh, staying near Ollie. Um, kind of just All right. looking out for maybe like a, a back room where there might be a safe or anything. But my perception check was a natural one, so I won't find anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go for Ollie. Hold on. <clears throat> natural 20. I love having a son. I love having a son. Nice, bro. <laughs> natural 20. No. You can't see he finally focused up away from the booba. No, he didn't. So, um, you're sitting there looking around. Uh, you go to like the bars and stuff. You're just trying to get people's attention, but no one's really giving you the time of day. And eventually, you're looking around and you, you go to like uh, talk to Ollie. And you're like, man, I'm just not getting anything. And you look, and, and he's just not with you anymore. I'm trying to search for him for a hey, second. Have you and seen it? <sighs> and then I'm you not see him. Anything. He's oh no! Walking up to the waitress, and uh, you watch him walk up to the cocktail waitress, and he's like, um, who? Oh, uh. Where do you keep the money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sitting over by the bar. I, I go to reach out and then I kind of stop and I just, all right, kid, give it a shot. Uh, and then you start to see them have this conversation, but you don't do you walk up or are you just going to? Not yet. I'd like to get a little closer and just kind of like see how he's doing. You know, maybe he'll get mm -hmm. some. You don't know. I, there's my boy right there. Uh, a few moments pass as they're talking to each other, uh, and then you see uh, she hands him something, and uh, he like closes his fist, and then she uh, also in the same like in the same she hands him something along with a drink. So like he grabs a drink and something else. You can kind of like see this happen, uh, and then she smiles, and then she looks to her left and she notices you who are just kind of sitting there watching, and then she smiles again and continues walking to another table, um, and he walks back up to you and he's like, oh hey. <laughs> I got something. Uh huh. You, uh huh. You got something. What was? Yeah. What was that over there that I just saw? That what? was uh, that was Miss Karina. Miss Karina. And, uh, okay. So apparently she knows you guys. She saw you enter. Uh oh. Oh. And so when I asked her where the money was, she didn't immediately freak out. That's she what she said. What? She also told me not to go asking where the money is. Smart girl. <laughs> so she handed me this, uh, and she he like uh, he also hands you like this cocktail drink. And I don't really drink, and he's got like this uh, like kind of like a US like USB flash stick, except it's just the inside wow. of it, um, and it, it just looks more like a like a circuit board, but like a small uh, finger sized circuit board. Mm. Um, what is and, it? And uh, she said it was. Uh, she didn't really tell me everything about it. She said, give this, and, uh, uh, her shift ends at, like, 10, but I told her <laughs> that the, the inn wasn't open anymore, and she said, don't worry about it, I think I'm gonna meet her after this. No, uh, you're not gonna meet her. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no, you can come Ollie. with me. No! Just give me the thing, here. Uh, yeah, he hands it to you in the drink. Would I know anything about it? You're just inspecting it. Uh, it looks like, um, just roll investigation to see what you guys. Like we cannot let Ollie meet up with a woman. I know that. <laughs> That's my son. I can't be a grandpa yet. He's also like six. No, he's 12. like twelve. He's twelve. He's like normally. four years old. 
<laughs> okay, well, I rolled Ollie's age, which is 12. All right, yeah, you're you're able to glean that it looks like it can be inserted, uh, but you're just not you're not sure what into because you don't have a lot of knowledge with mm -hmm. like machinery and 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 uh, robotics and other things like that, like craftsmanship and stuff. You're just not really sure, but you, you can tell it's probably like an like, insertion into something. So she gave you this and said her shift ends at 10. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we will go meet up with her and see what she's doing but if she takes off any clothes you turn around like to be blind and then like turn back around no okay all right we need to have a little talk about the birds and the bees and i go and i give <laughs> i give ollie the talk and we oh, walk Jesus. away <laughs> i explain to him why i can't be a grandfather okay. yet i circle back to gillian mm -hmm. gillian gillian you went to okay. pretzel in this race against number nine. I went to pretzel in the race. Before I do, I cast guidance uh, on her. I say, don't worry. This time you're going to be wonderful. God, you hear a, a voice kind of uh, uh, come from somewhere. Uh, it's one of the speaker voices, but D&D doesn't have speakers, so it's magic. Uh, and you hear, oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen, over at the Frogtopus Races Corner. Yes, Looks that's like we right. have a private race brought it to you by... I. Gillian Tide Strider and his companion Pretzel Make your way over to the Frogtopus races and place your bet Uh and uh then the uh the, the figure that's on the screens everywhere just kinda shuts off and then there's a little symbol of a frog to place that that's pops funny. Out. I think this is actually how I lost all my money originally. <laughs> it is, it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, no, so, actually, you gave it all away to the people of the casino. Oh, that's true, after, I did. Yeah. Okay. What do I need to roll? So, I believe it'll be contested D20 plus your... <laughs> plus, because Pretzel has a stat block now, so what's yes. her... Athlete? Does she have, like, an athletics or acrobatics or what? She's what? got dexterity. She doesn't have, like... Roll dexterity, stuff. then. Okay. For speed. All right, not good. I got a three plus two, five. All right, so I, I got a six. <laughs> um, total. <laughs> nice. So, and the first round this is going to be three rounds. You watch Pretzel uh, immediately shoot off, and they're 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 neck go and neck at first, off. and then right oh, as wait, they come. Oh wait, I had a d4. I had a d4. Hang on. For guidance, right? Yes. Plus there three. Okay. It gives me a, what did I say? I had a five. Yep. Yeah. Eight. Okay. I have an eight. <laughs> okay. So they're neck and neck at first, like I was saying. Woo! They 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 boost off, and they're going around uh, this 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 uh, underwater racetrack for frog to pie, and. Uh, uh, and right as they're coming to the, uh, right as they're coming back to the starting line, Pretzel just inches forward right at the last yes, second. Rizzo. She takes the lead. All right, Ted, do another roll. Okay, here we go. Dexterity again, right? Yep. Uh, come on, Pretzel. You say yours first. 16. 14, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. So, on this round, same thing. They're going. Uh, uh, she keeps the lead for at least halfway uh, on this lap, and then number nine starts to come up and, uh, and get neck and neck <coughs> once again. And Riser about to get to that, that starting line. He's the one that inches forward and gets the Damn lead. Damn it. All right. One Here's, more roll, I have, all right? I have one question. I have one question. Pretzel has something called Ink Cloud, uh, which lets her blast out ink and take the dash action as a bonus action. Is there some way I could use this to give her a little more propulsion? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, cool. Of course. Cool. You roll plus dexterity, uh, roll with advantage, and with the ink cloud, does it do damage? No, no, it's just an ink cloud. It's just, it's just, roll it's like a, it's just obs obscure and, and boost. And All right, I'll then do I'll one roll more thing. I'll do one more thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, go pretzel, and I move my arms around like this, and I wanna use shape water to change the current of the water to give her a boost as well. <laughs> okay, so- uh, Now you're the cheater, okay. And, I and, uh, <laughs> add plus I would say add the dexterity and then proficiency which is plus three so okay magic right, here proficiency. we go here we go here we go so plus five with advantage it's 15 and a 16 so 16 plus five is gonna be 21 all right here's what happens oh, uh, God. the third the third the third round the third and final lap starts and they are are, are uh, uh, right with each other and uh about 25% through the lap, uh, Pretzel does the ink cloud. And as she does that, that's when you get cued to do your, your cheer and you uh, use the ink cloud to kind of obscure the uh, the difference in current change, like the magic and whatnot. And you notice 
that something is fighting you whenever you go to cast shape water is almost like you're casting shape water against somebody else's uh, uh, shape water, but not exactly the same spell, but it looks like oh, you're fighting a spell. Interesting. And uh, yours is the one that takes hold and it propels uh, 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 Pretzel, who also propels herself, and so she goes zoom, rocketing Whoa, all the please, way and almost please, please, nearly, please. Uh, nearly overlaps number nine uh, and completely takes it. As, oh, as number shit. nine is like, is, uh, is, is, enveloped in this black ink and then comes out the other side covered in black ink and it's just like <laughs> and like just like trying to swim forward it's just sludging forward like really slow like a snail after that oh pretzel I, I hold her i hold her like little tentacle up finally you hear on the on the on the on the from the speaker a new winner did people bet on her <laughs> that's what <laughs> dreams are made of um <laughs> we're taking this place apart <laughs> Four people betted on her for Yay. 15 gold each. Oh my God, this is the most money I've ever had. <laughs> so uh, you can give yourself uh, 60 gold. Uh, this is the first time I've had money in about like 20 episodes. This is very exciting. Hey, sort of, but it, it would be dispensed in like the, the, the form of poker chips, but like just give 60 gold because you'll get it eventually. Say it's like Amazon Go. When you leave the casino, it turns yeah, yeah, into yeah. gold. <laughs> All right, don't worry. There won't be much of a casino left. <clears throat> you're with me. I, I just you're over at the frog post person. He like looks visibly nervous. All right, what do you want? What's going on here? Well, you see, this this establishment was be built on two things: greed and all oh, and evil. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of them both. People are supposed gonna to help win these me. races. What did what you do? What is They're that? not supposed to win the races. What did you do? Well, what can I say? Evil, fuck evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not me. I don't want any trouble, all right? I know. So you're going to tell me exactly who rigs all these games? Same guy that owns the entire market. And where is he? It's Bossum. Boss Blossom. Ba Bossum? Yeah. It's a stupid name. Where is he? He's just... Uh, probably in the upper quarter. Where the rich people stay. All right. He doesn't really Excellent. come down here. He just owns the area. Okay. Kind of works hand in hand with the king. Know. Well, in you hand know. with the king? I mean, like, probably. I don't know the specifics, man. I just work here. It's worse than I thought. We have the public figure king, and then we have, like, the underground king. You know? The underground king. That's Blossom. Boss. Boss Blossom. Well. BB. Some people call it's him good BB. Good that I get to save a detect evil charge. <laughs> You're with me. I, I grab him. We're going. What? Where are you guys going? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna meet the others at the door when they're ready. This guy's coming to the top with us. He's gonna help us dismantle oh my God. everything. We all grab the accomplices. Did he say what his name was? <laughs> No. And one of them is trying to actively <laughs> kill us. Yeah, it's so funny. We all we're, we're literally so this is like the the weirdest version of putting together a heist crew. <laughs> uh, what did he say? Uh, I, I'll ask him. Uh, what's your name? Elion Tusk. Elion Tusk. <laughs> Pleasure doing real business with you. Where, where are we going? Uh, Jay, you are to the center of it all. <laughs> do you start to, to, to navigate the, the man in the cloak or anything, or do you say anything else? Yes, I, I navigate him <laughs> to the entrance where everybody else is. Yeah, this would go well. He starts <laughs> yep. to follow, and as he gets up... You may need a plan here, bro. <laughs> that's fine. I'm a crab. That is literally insane. Okay. And as yeah. he gets up, his his figure is hulking and sort of hunched over. Uh, he's got like this very large, he's kind of top heavy with like very massive shoulders and chest uh, that kind of tapers down into like this like smaller. Uh, he looks like fucking the, the, it's the it's the trapezoid guys, right? So he's super big, uh, but all of it is obscured by this black cloak in the hood. And he starts walking, and you can see he's like holding both hands on, on the hips as if to like be holding a weapon. Uh, you've seen it before. And he's just kind of like walking. Uh, it feels sinister, his, uh, his presence behind you as he starts to follow you out of this casino, I guess. I don't have a good plan. <laughs> you better have a damn good lie. <laughs> So he's ta so Jay she has is a taking, bandana on. So Jay <laughs> totally is taking. So Jay is bringing him to the door where currently Chip, Oliver, Gillian, and 
Elyon. Well, I had a different plan that I was going to do, but it sounded like Charlie really wants me to bring the guy over here. Well, no, you better do what do what yeah, do, do what, what Jay would do. do. Yeah, do what you do. want to do. I I have done do the enough plan that in, doesn't get us killed. I've done like this episode has literally been incredible for me because I've just been able to fully go off the fucking deep end. So like whatever your plan is, do your plan. Cause I I mean, you know, we have a general idea mm -hmm. here of get up to the top and steal from the rich, but like whatever your plan is, do it. I'll give you, if you wanted to do something else, you can do it before you leave the table. Otherwise, you're bringing him directly to the top. Yeah, you are bringing him right to you, I mean, you're fulfilling the promise, though. It's true. I am. I am. I'll, I'll fulfill the promise eventually, you know? I, I'm not one of those guys. I, I put my hand out as, as we're walking towards the entrance. Do you smell that? My, my crab nostrils. Their oh, I can smell diverted. this crab. Their path is diverted. They're going to rob this casino. Do you know... Do you know where they keep the money? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, we're on some other shit today and it is awesome. Hey, what are you talking about? The dealers have the chips. You get chips, you leave. You got money. Where are they going? So they're in the casino. He starts to like look around. <gasps> Please don't do that. He's rolling. Oh, he's rolling. Shit. He's rolling. He's rolling. He's rolling. He's rolling. Shit. 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 I rolled a seven. I think you're over there near the. <laughs> Wait, what? A seven? No. Oh. They don't see shit. So they're in the casino. Get lay up. Get lay up. Get lay up. Get lay up. I smell them. I smell them in the casino. <laughs> over there where the. I, I see them over at the entrance where the. Frogtopus race is deeper in the casino. He looks over to the Frogtopus race and he immediately pulls out this gun and starts pointing it over to it. And as he does, people notice and pull out this gun and they start fucking screaming and going oh crazy. God. And then the figure comes on the TV as he's like, Oh, it looks like we have a little bit of an altercation here. Everybody, please stay calm and remain seated. And then he goes, Where are they? Where are they? Can't and crap if the girl. girl really loves you, she'll even let. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 and as this, uh, this immediate chaos erupts as this uh, uh, hunter looking for the three of you is, is, is told <laughs> <laughs> waving his gun around uh, and everybody starts to start freaking out uh, and you guys are standing by the entrance with Ollie and uh, your new friend uh, the frogtopus racer uh, El Elion. Elion. El Elion, yeah <laughs> That's where we're gonna end the episode. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, this is like this, this is, is the most warpath we've ever been on, and I fucking love it. We I'm so this is I wanna talk with you guys about how we were going to fully rob and like drop all of the money from the king down the, the fucking mail chute. This, yes. It's all so perfect. It's all so fucking perfect. Some somehow, like this is gonna but it's somehow this is all gonna happen one night. Like, say you got here at 6 p.m. sunset. Dude, this happens in five <laughs> hours or something. One Bro, night we are on a war need, path. Baby. We have one day. One night is all we need. Oliver uh, is going to live his We're gonna life. We're going to talk about our plans on Just Rolled With It over on yeah, Patreon. Yeah, that's so what I was thinking. There. You should do that. It's on Patreon, where we I've talk about plan. our bank heist plans. So not my bank heist plans. I just build the bank. They heist. Of course, of course. Hey guys, it's Slimesicle, and if you're not subscribed to our Patreon yet, what are you doing? Go get over there. We've got a whole nother campaign, post-podcast discussions, and what-if episodes. And of course, if you join as a high roller, you'll get a shout out every episode, like I'm about to do right now. I've got a little bit of a sore throat, so I apologize if your wonderful, wonderful name sounds a little more congesty than usual. The Big Motherfucking Cheese, Alexis Kira. Alyssa, Apple, Atlas L, Beats, Ben 10, Blue Blend Blob, Bowling Ball Iron, Buttery Toast, Cheshire, Clarence, Cornier Comet, Creepy Reaper, Chrysanus Sin, Dream Strider, Edgy Moss, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Expoogaloo, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Iridescent Cakes, It's Blitz, J. Newell, J.R.W.I. Enjoyer, Jumpiest Venus 34, King 
of Ranch. Mave Mellohe, Material Seaweed, Miscaladius, Misfit Wolverine 15, Mr. Griffin, Nay, Non X Lodal, Obligatory References, P1 LLW, I, I guess it's like Pillow? Princess Vegeta, Resha Snivy, Riker Kurotu, Salutatien, Sebastian Saunders, Serene is actually a skeleton. Soul of a Pep. Spinyax, the Copper Android. Viriden, Zerberus, your gal pal Valerie V, and of course, Zelfar Pendrake. Thank you all so much for supporting the show, and of course, guys, just a reminder, if you're not caught up on Prime Defenders, get over there and do it. Shit's getting crazy. All right, thank you so much for listening, and stay wet out there.